drinking. We take it seriously in Aotearoa. So seriously, the first bill passed by our parliament in 1854 allowed MPs to booze on the job. And even though it's our most harmful drug, you can buy it at the supermarket. Alcohol companies sponsor the rugby and even some charities. In the drinking game, journalist Guy in Espina mixes personal stories of his own underage clubbing in Christchurch and keeping up with the hard-drinking journos of the press gallery at Parliament with sobering details about the power, politics and lobbying that keep the industry afloat and some good news about how our attitudes are changing. Yeah, please welcome Guy and Espina. Thanks for having me. Pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, we mentioned you setting your hand on fire, and what does this say about Kiwi drinking culture? It wasn't at a nightclub, it was at work. <laughs> well, it wasn't quite at work, it was after work, but, I mean, that's the thing. I, I, I drank far too heavily for far too many years, and no one ever said to me, hey, do you think you're drinking too much? Yeah. But when I stopped drinking, it was like, why aren't you drinking? So mm. I thought it was quite interesting in terms of the, the place it holds in our culture, which was one of the reasons that I, I wrote the book. Yeah, when did you know it was time to give up? One Sunday morning when I couldn't remember what had happened after 9.30, and that used to happen to me a bit, you know, I'd have that, I didn't, I never had the off switch, so I'd be fine, and then it'd be like, the next morning it'd be like, hang on, what, mm, what happened after 9 o'clock, yeah. and that happened to me a lot, and one morning I just went, nah, that's enough, but that, it took me a long time, like I was in my late 40s before yeah. I did 9 o'clock, you're hitting it hard early. <laughs> <laughs> was, it hard, was it hard to give up, no relapses, or you just decided? No, I just, I just decided that morning that wow. I, I, I um, had, had, had enough. I wasn't going to die wondering what alcohol was like yeah. uh, after all those years, and I thought, no, that's me, that's enough. And but but I, the point of your book is the odds are stacked against any Kiwi who decides not to drink. Yeah, I mean, part of the reason I wrote this book too is I wanted people to know that it's okay not to drink, that it's okay mm -hmm. to make that decision, and that you can live a good life without drinking alcohol, because there is a lot of pressure on people through advertising, through promotion, through uh, sport, through a, a lot of spheres of our lives. It, it seems like, you know, whether it's births, deaths or marriages, everything that we do in our lives is either celebrated or commiserated through alcohol. What about people like me, though? Because I drink every night. <laughs> but it's just one. Yeah. You, bet. you know, well, it's, you, that's OK, isn't it? Ab absolutely. And what you won't find, Mark, in this book is any preaching at all. <laughs> yeah. you know, so th there's no preaching in this book. This is not a book about um, st pe asking people to stop drinking alcohol at all. For probably the majority of New Zealanders, they enjoy alcohol. It's a good part of their lives. And, you know, go for it. Yeah. But I think um, a lot of New Zealanders will value the, the kind of context yeah. that we're living in, and that's what you're providing in here. Like, I didn't realise that we're so far behind when it comes to alcohol sponsoring sport and alcohol ads on TV. What's the deal there? Well, yeah, I mean, back in 2014, Sir Graham Lowe, the rugby league legend, he, he called um, as part of a ministerial inquiry to have sport and alcohol sponsorship, um, you know, banned. Um, and politicians and governments don't listen. They don't want to regulate alcohol because they fear that they'll get accused of being nanny state. So they, they don't, don't want to be party poopers. Probably, yeah. yeah. What, do we, what about in Parliament? Because you infamously referred to the Rob Muldoon incident where he called that snap election and you said, <laughs> I think you said he's not just tips, tipsy but smashed. Um, is that still is that culture still alive in Parliament today? Yeah, they called it the schnapps election, I think. Um, <laughs> oh, very good. But, but um, it, it certainly was when I was there, um, yeah. and I, I worked in Parliament for 14 years as a journalist, and there was a heavy drinking culture there. Apparently, it's changed changed a bit. Um, so, but certainly when I was at Parliament, there was uh, a, a lot of a lot of drinking yeah. by journalists and MPs for but, sure. But every time someone suggests changing the law or putting a warning label on a bottle of booze the lobbyists shut it down, right? They are intricately connected to Parliament. Well, that's right. There's a big lobbying industry behind, behind the liquor industry, and they've got a receptive ear with governments because, as we've seen, if you put the price of alcohol up or you change the regulations and get, get a bit strict, then you're going to get a backlash from, from voters. I think that governments really um, are, are, are scared of that. Is it, is it true that attitudes are changing, by the way? Do you think the next generation sees alcohol slightly different? I, I think they do, and I think the numbers tell us that. The statistics tell you that younger people are drinking less than, than possibly people of our vintage did, um, which, is, which is a good thing. Uh, so I, I expensive, think. though. Is that the reason? Well, they've got access to better drugs now. <laughs> <laughs> That's possibly it, yeah. Well, the, 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 they might have replaced it with vaping. But, um, <laughs> but, but they certainly, certainly have, have been drinking less than, um, and certainly less problem drinking than, than was the case po possibly in our day, which is a good thing, right? Mm. Mm. Uh, well done on the book. Thank you. And very part much. memoir, uh, part journalism. Guy's book, The Drinking Game, is out now. Please thank Guy and Espinar. Ooh.